So the 2001 reboot of Planet of the Apes fell flat, and the planned second series never happened. But ten years later, it was time for another shot at it. Rise of the Planet of the Apes feels like it's half prequel, half reboot, because it basically takes the basic concept of conquest of the Planet of the Apes and retools it. It is unencumbered by any previous continuity, but it definitely seems to be leading towards a situation much like the original movie. This time around, the apes are 100% CGI, though they're played by actors using motion capture suits, with the main character being played by the motion capture master Andy Serkis. The main human character is Will, played by James Franco. Will works for a company that tests drugs on animals, and he's working on a product called the ALZ-112, which based on the increased cognitive function apes get when injected with it, may actually be a cure for Alzheimer's and other brain diseases. His star ape is a chimp named Bright Eyes, who is supposed to be led into an investor meeting to show off how smart she's become, but she freaks out and becomes violent and goes on a rampage and is eventually shot to death by security guards. The product is scrapped and Will's boss orders the apes to be put down because they might be contaminated with what he now believes is a drug that causes aggression. Though it turns out Bright Eyes had just given birth to a baby, and that's the reason she was freaking out. Will takes the baby chimp home, where it bonds with his Alzheimer's-stricken father, played by John Lithgow, who names the baby Caesar. Caesar is much, much smarter than a normal chimpanzee because it seems the drug was passed on genetically from his mother, also evidenced by his bright green eyes. When Will realizes the implications, he gives the drug to his father, who seems immediately cured of Alzheimer's. So he uses this to convince his boss to make a stronger, more refined version of the drug, the 113. However, the drug is technically a virus, and when his father's immune system fights it, his Alzheimer starts coming back and he declines rapidly, eventually dying after refusing the stronger drug. So a lot of stuff happens in this movie. Caesar and some of the other apes are exposed to the 113, which increases their intelligence a lot more. A human lab tech is exposed to it, and the virus actually kills him. It seems humans can't survive contact, while apes can. Caesar is imprisoned in what appears to be a sanctuary for attacking a neighbor who is harassing Will's father, but the sanctuary is only nice and cozy on the outside. On the inside, he's tortured and treated very badly. Caesar starts up an ape rebellion after becoming the alpha male of all the apes in the sanctuary, and finds a way to sneak out and goes back to Will's house and steals some of the 113, which he exposes other apes to, making them smarter and their organized rebellion breaks out and tears through San Francisco in an attempt to get to a nearby redwood forest. In the end, Caesar and his ape forces escape the humans into the forest, though a few die. Poor Buck the gorilla. The twist ending? Seriously, fucking spoiler alert, you guys. The lab tech who died from the virus passed it on to Will's neighbor, a pilot who infects everyone at an airport which spreads the virus worldwide, essentially dooming mankind. Except, of course, for the astronauts who are lost in space that you might have heard about from news reports in the background and whatnot. Wow, yeah. So this one, this one's really, really awesome. Seriously, it's hard to describe what makes this movie so good, but I read a review once that said it put the wonder back into movies, and yeah, it kind of does. The movie is shot beautifully, expertly acted, and has a touching and compelling storyline, and both humans and apes are fantastic. The apes may be CGI, but they look extremely realistic, and Andy Serkis brings the character of Caesar to life in a way that no ape had been done before in any of the previous movies. Seriously, if you saw Lord of the Rings or the King Kong remake, you know what I mean. All the expression and carefully plotted movements that you saw with Gollum and Kong are here. But this is probably better in that sense. It's his best work. The human cast is also great, though the star actor has to be John Lithgow, who usually plays either a very funny character or a very evil character so it was interesting to see him in a serious and sympathetic role. I do know some people who are actually moved to tears by his performance because of his portrayal of a man struggling with Alzheimer's hit home hard. Luckily, the movie was as successful as it is good, making loads of money and getting great reviews, so Dawn of the Planet of the Apes is on its way, and after this great film, I'm really looking forward to it. This is a film full of great moments that really hit hard. The first time Caesar spoke, I remember the feeling of shock and awe in the audience at the theater. Yeah, I heard one guy say, holy shit. It takes a lot for this jaded generation to feel wonder and shock again. So I have no reservations about saying this. Rise of the Planet of the Apes is an easy 10 out of 10.